My name is Alice Klugertz. I'm 66 years old. I live in the East Village. I'm a performer. Um, and I write and I dance. And um, I've lived in the same place for a really long time. September 11th, I was working in the basement of, um, I think it's called the Manhattan something room. Anyway, it's on 19th Street. And it was one of these strange cater waiter jobs where it's for the business of people who do lights. It's not for people who want to light their living room in a new way. It's for businesses. And we were feeding them and, and all of a sudden, somebody said that there were explosions and somebody said that you know everything in the whole world was exploding and it just it seemed like I you know reminded me of like when my parents got divorced it just seemed like a story it didn't seem real and somebody said you got to go outside and look so when I went outside from 19th Street and 6th Avenue and I looked downtown towards the towers what I saw were what looks like two chewed off buildings. That's what it looked like because the smoke was so thick in both buildings coming up that it covered the top of the building. So it looked like two jagged buildings. And I actually thought that, well, for sure with all these safety things that people are talking about, that all the people, they got all the people out. I had no concept of what actually happened and the reality of it. And then everything was very strange and I went to work for another day or two and then I just didn't want to work. And then work completely dried up and I didn't have any work. Um, and it was just extremely lonely being in my house. Um, I think finally my brother called me because Somebody called him and said, how's Alice? And said, you know, you should call and see how she's doing. Um, and it was just, then everything was completely different after that. And mostly, I couldn't get any work. And I had been doing cater waitering ever since my mother died. And I really couldn't handle her death. So I was just wanted to have the kind of job where you sort of go there, you do it, you come out. Um, you know, the reality of it was very hard to take in. I took pictures of it, I walked down before they closed it all off, and none of them came out. It was like my camera didn't want to take them in. And it was just a very strange and lonely time, and very reminiscent of Hurricane Sandy for me personally, and also of um, this time with the pandemic. And um, it's been very moving today. I saw Aiko of Aiko and Como, the Japanese dance Buto duo, do a performance about 9-11 at Belvedere Square just in the morning at 7 a.m. And that was very moving the whole day. I think that from now on, I'm not going to work on this day. I'm going to participate in events. I'm going to see events. Maybe I'll be part of an event. But I'm not interested in working on this day. I, I think it's more sacred than Yom Kippur, which I can't really relate to, um, or any of the other Jewish holidays, even though I'm a Jew, pretty much. I, I can't relate to. To me, this seems like a day of remembrance that I want to hold sacred.